Hey everybody, thank you for joining me once again for another episode of the Tamar Temu Collective where dreams have no filter. Thank you so much for the new subscribers that I have and for those of you that have been listening, I appreciate you consistently tuning in. So don't forget, at the end of this video, like, share, okay? Subscribe for those of you that are just, you know, somehow found this video subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are the first to know when I post a new video. So I want to switch gears just a little bit in this particular video. So if you have been watching, you know, you'll know that the last few videos, two videos, I've been talking about perfectionism and how that negatively affects how we view ourselves how we determine our worth, how we view the lifestyle that we really want, how we view the way that we want to be expressed in our life to the fullest. It affects all of that. So in this video though, like I said, I want to switch gears just a little bit. You will find that it will, this topic will still, it'll still be on topic of perfectionism, it will still be on topic of the theme of this entire YouTube channel. And that is for us to embrace our soul expression, to embrace our vision, to embrace what we imagine, to embrace it as already complete. Okay. So in this video, I want to talk specifically about business. And I haven't done that before, but this idea, well, it's not really an idea, it's something that I've experienced. It has been something that just, it keeps coming up as something for me to review, something for me to look at and really take into consideration. And so we have the topic of business, but then to even narrow it down more, this is a topic about business and for those of you that had a business before and it didn't go as planned. And I'm careful to say, did not go as you planned or did not go as you anticipated rather than the business failed. And if you've been watching if you've been watching videos, you know why I'm intentional in saying the business didn't go as you intended. I'm intentional, intentionally saying that. Okay. So, okay. So back to business. And for those of you, I mean, and this is, even if, you know, part of the lifestyle that you want maybe does not include having your own business, this video will still be beneficial to you. Even if you are new in business, this will still be beneficial to you. But particularly for those who have had a business and the outcome did not match what you wanted. It did not match what you desired. So let's start there. So I want you to look at the first time you build your business, I want you to look at how you were building it. What do, you, what do I mean by that? So I'll use myself as an example. When I first started to build my business, most of the time, the way that I was building it, it was a lot of hustle to my detriment, the detriment of my health, my sleep. I wasn't, I wasn't eating because in my mind, I was building this business with the energy of, oh, I have to to build number one, I have to build it a certain way or I have to, I have to keep going because I'm building this business because I don't want it to fail. 
there was no fun involved. Most of the time it was, it felt, I felt constricted. It was stressful. And it just overall, it was not fun. Now, there were, I will say that there were some at the beginning, there were some fun aspects because I was excited that I chose that type of business and that I chose to embrace, first of all, embrace the dream that I had since I was eight years old. I was excited about that, but then it became this, it just became the way that I was doing things. It was just always frantic. And so part of that, and this is not to, you know, blame messages that you get, whether it's from social media or other people, because you don't have to look, we don't have to look at those messages. We don't have to take those messages in. We don't have to listen to other people. We don't have to compare what we're doing to other people, but that's what I did. And so what that does is when you are creating a business with the energy of, oh, I, it, it's, it's, fran it's frantic energy and you're creating and building a business because you don't want it to fail. What that does, what that energy does is it causes you to not consider how you want to feel in your business. What do I mean by that? So one of the things, so we have when we're building a business, okay, of course, we're thinking about our product. We're thinking about the service, whatever it is. We're thinking about our customers, where our customers are how we're going to attract those customers, how we're going to keep those customers. So of course, you know, we're thinking about all those things that go into having a business, but it's all logic, which is not a bad thing. But are you considering, okay, am I building a business? So say for example, that one of your priorities in your life is to have freedom of time. Let's say, well, let's just stick with that example. So let's say it's very important for you to have freedom of your time. Are you considering that the bit, the way that you're building your business is the way that you're building your business going to give you freedom of time or are you so logical? Are you so much into the strategy? Are you so much into doing more and more and more that you're forgetting? Okay, wait a minute. Is this step that I'm taking, even though it may be coming from a business strategist, even though it may be coming from a business expert, is that step, does that step fall in line with the freedom lifestyle that I deserve, that I want, that I desire, that I see myself having. So you see how that is different. When you go into a business with that frantic hustle energy, it takes away from how you want to feel in your business. Then when the feeling is wiped off the, off the table, then what happens is that you start to build a business based on, or I'm, let me flip this. Your life becomes centered around your business rather than your business falling in line with the lifestyle that you want. Then when that happens, then you have your business over here and your life over here. When really you want them integrated, because remember, you are an integrated human. 
You are not to be segmented. You bring all parts of you to everything, to all, to all your relationships, to where, wherever you go. We're not meant to be split in that way, at least from my perspective. Okay, maybe some, some of you out there watching may disagree with that, but from my perspective, to really, from what I've experienced, and to really experience the human spiritual experience, it's about integration. So, so now we come to, okay, so remember what I said at the top of this video that this will probably be more for those of you who had a business and it didn't go the way you thought. I want you to reframe that because before, maybe it didn't go the way that you thought because you were splitting yourself. You had your business over here. You had your life over here. You were building it frantic and hustle and I'm not going to sleep. I'm only going to sleep two hours a night because I got this, 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 and this to do for the business. And then, you know, I got my life over here. Maybe the way that you were doing it was not falling in line with the feeling that you want to have in your life. So when the business didn't go as planned, that was the opportunity, became the opportunity for you to say, okay, wait a minute. Now I can build this business based on the life that I want to have, based on how I want to feel in my life. And I'm saying that because that is what I'm really focused on. Then what you find when you have switched gears, when you switched energies, now building your business becomes fun. There's a sense of flow. There is no urgency. There is no franticness. Because you are remembering how you want to feel in your life. You want to feel free. Free of time. Maybe you want to be free of location. Maybe six months out the year you want to live somewhere else. And the other half of the year you want to live somewhere else. Now you have the opportunity to build your business around that. So, I just want to drop you those gems. Yes, they were gems. I'm calling my own words gems, yes. Um, <laughs> so I want you to take that and really think about that. Don't forget, when you have, when you, you have this opportunity, opportunity now, to build your business based on, don't forget about your feelings when it comes to building a business. And I know that may not be popular, a popular you know perspective, because a lot of times when we think about business, it's just all logical, but it isn't. And it does not have to be, okay? You can say, before you take another step in your business, before you take some advice from someone, I don't care who it comes from, you can stop and say, okay, well, wait a minute. How is this going to make me feel? Does this fall in line with the freedom that I want in my life? Is, does this feel e easy? We are, and that's another thing too. <sighs> Building a business doesn't equate to difficult. It, it doesn't. It doesn't equate to hard. We've gotten to the point where if something isn't hard, isn't difficult, isn't doesn't feel like we're peeling paint off the wall with our hands, our fingernails, then somehow it's not worth talking about. Whoever said that building a business had to be that way? Building a business can be fun. It can be joyful. It can be liberating. So I just consider that. Now you have the opportunity to build your business based on the lifestyle that you want. 
based on how you want to feel in your life from moment to moment. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Now, I want to talk about, before we go, I, you probably noticed I changed the name from the Tamara Tamu Show to the Tamara Tamu Collective, where dreams have no filter. So the collective, what is the collective? Let me just talk about that for a second. The collective I, means I am bringing all of me to this channel. I'm bringing all of the things that I'm passionate about. Um, I'm bringing art. I am bringing spirituality. I am bringing uh, my writing, everything, all those, all the things that I'm passionate about, I am bringing to this channel rather than trying to separate everything out. So that's what the collective means. I will talk more about that in another video, but I want to thank you again for tuning in. And so until next time, cheers.